Hello and welcome back to the uh, Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to install Lutris on our Debian installation in 2024. But first, before we proceed any further, I'd like to thank my channel member. This is Miss Love. They get early access to videos, such as this one right here, as well as a little badge next to the name that shows that they support me. And uh, I get right response to comments. So let's get into the video. Now, Lutris is a platform for making it possible to play non-Linux based games on Linux and it pulls in from other game libraries as well such as the Humble Bundle, Steam, Epic Games, GOG and it also helps with emulation as well. So first things first let's just make sure that our system is indeed up to date so up to update. Ooh, wrong way, Ooh, wrong way. As we can see, system is up to date. So, first thing we want to do, we have a few choices for how we can choose to install Lutris. Now, we can install it using the Plat Pack Hub, or we can get it through a deb package, or we can install it using uh, the repository. So, first off, let's just do a sudo apt search. So, sudo apt search Debian. No. Pseudo apt search Lutris. Well, there we can see Lutris is there. Now, what you're probably wondering is do I already have Lutris installed? The answer is no, I do not already have Lutris installed on this system. So, what I'm actually doing is what is representative of what you'll actually have on your own system. Let's install it using the Debian repository that is available for this. So I'll drop these commands in the description and a link to the page for it. But what we want to do is uh, echo quotation mark deb square bracket signed y equals slash etc slash apt keyrings slash lutris dot gpg square bracket https colon slash slash downloads dot open dot org slash repositories repositories slash home i realize that this is it does say open source and it's because packages with debian are available on the open source build service so that's why it's on open source or open source or however you choose to pronounce open cease. Yes, I'm just saying it differently on purpose now. So repositories slash home colon slash STRY core slash Debian capital D underscore one two slash. Now we want to do space uh, full stop slash quotation mark sudo TEE -E slash etc slash apt sources dot list.d slash lutris lut ris dot list and then pipe that into slash dev null now that what we've now that we've done that what we need to do is set up the download so to do that we do w get hyphen q space hyphen o hyphen https colon slash slash download dot open susa dot org slash repositories let's make sure i spell that right slash repositories slash home if i spelled it wrong i can hear you shouting at me saying i've spelled it wrong but we'll find out in a moment uh, s t r y c o r e slash debian underscore 12 there we go help me if i can spell debian correctly debian underscore 12 slash release capital r slash p what we want to do is pipe gpg hyphen hyphen d e a r m o r space pipe uh, sudo t e e space slash etc apt key rings slash lutris dot gpg and then pipe that into or send that into dev null and then sudo apt update Uh, 
and then sudo apt install Lutris. And as we can see here, the JSS packages, game mode, game scope, Python edev doc, tor, unra free. I don't know why it wants to install tor, but there we go. So the additional packages will be installed. Those are the suggested ones, but the the ones that will be installed is Cape Tracks, Fluid Sound, uh, Fluid Sound Font GM, Fluid Sound Font GS, Fuse IO, Lib uh, MS Pack Zero, Python 3 EDev, Python 3 Magic, and then Hwine Tricks. So, back enter, as you can see, it's only going to take up 157 megabytes of space, so not really anything at all. Again, your download speed will very much vary depending on your internet connection as well as which repositories you're down downloading from as we can see here i'm still downloading from ftp.au.com i haven't changed it because well i have decent enough download speed that i can download from australia it doesn't bother me so now that we've done that we can get lutris for the first time now i did previously have this installed and then uninstalled it so i don't know uh, what will show up but as we can see here it's just giving us the usual side to side bar as it's checking for updates for the first time or well, checking for runtime updates every time you run Lutris, it will check for updates by itself just to make sure everything's there sorry for flash banging you if you are on a larger screen than i am or on a screen size um dark theme requires dark theme for a variant for gtk and then we will just close that and then bring it back up. Okay, brilliant. I apparently don't have that. Oh, my eyes. Sorry about that. So we'll just quickly go through the settings. Um, we can minimize this client. Uh, we can have the tray icon be shown, which should be shown over. There we go. There's the tray icon for it. Um, Discord rich presence for available games, so anything that can support it will do. Uh, the the runners this is what you can use to run certain games so 86 box well they're all pretty self-explanatory um open source 68k mac uh mac emulator uh, nintendo 3ds or citra where uh, there's there's mume nintendo ds dolphin um dolphin is a good emulator from my own use with it i've used it to play um simpson sit and run works well uh Linux runs native Linux games, lib, lib retro. That's for another emulator which runs pretty much everything. Um, so this is just the runners. It's got everything. You can then choose any particular runner. There's RP, RPCS3, so PS3 emulator. PPSPP, that's a good one as well. I've used that, so I personally recommend it. At Steam, uh, HTML5 web games. Uh, Yuzu for the Nintendo Switch emulator and XCMU, but it works. Now, the sources would be, um, bleh, no, we, we don't touch Amazon Prime Gaming. It doesn't, it's, it's a scam, in my opinion, but there we go. These are the libraries you can pull your games from. It's actually a rather wide choice. It's pretty much, if memory serves me correctly, this would be all of the game storefronts, which, again, it's good to see that they're all here. Uh, it just gives you basic uh, hardware information as well in case you need it. So as we can see, Vulcan supported. Uh, that's what I've got on my system. 32 gigs of RAM with 1 gig with a swap. Uh, 16 physical with 32 logical cores. Very nice CPU with authentic AMD. And of course, X, Cinnamon, yada, yada. But it's all here. Now, there is some options you can then do uh, fps counter if you have mango hud installed you can actually have that running to see what's going on environment var variables you can change what resolution so if you fancy that you could have it in 640 by 480 because why not uh, locales you change that if you wanted to engb.utfa uh, you change it around or posix or what have you that's where you put the environment variables and it installs your games there so as we can see here i have the heroic browser for uh, Anno 1800, FTL, Hitman 3, Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition, and then the Escapist. But to get something running, we choose a login. I need to see if that's the correct password. It is not. But there we go. So correct password, as we can see here. 
we have a load of games now the reason why you'd use lutris is because whilst it is available there is a rather large amount of supported software available for lutris so if i wanted to have play battlefield 4 in here i'd have to install ea obviously because thank you ea but we'd then be able to bring in games that we wanted to play from lutris and as long as we've got them installed it would then make it work so have fun go forth and play can connect all your stores to it i'll just do that so it then loads my steam library but go forth play all your games enjoy yourself with your own computer because why not anyway if you're not already subscribed maybe consider subscribing if you like the video hit the like button if you dislike hit the dislike button they both seem to work even though you can only see one of them remember i have been nick you have been amazing when you use linux don't panic i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and goodbye